Live. We're live. Okay. Let me find the video. We're live, my friends. I don't see it. Takes a second, please. Stand <laughs> by. <laughs> Everyone said, just needs to calm down. There we go. Said, or she went into labor. <laughs> 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 okay, we're back. There we are. Whoa, Jesse, where did you go? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're back. That was exciting. <laughs> that was exciting. You know, sometimes when you do things live, you, you kind of like live on the edge all the time a little bit because you're like, will this blow a breaker? Is that the right terminology? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> trip. Yeah, trip. trip a breaker. Blow a fuse, trip a breaker. That's exactly what happened. But I have to say that you guys are hilarious with your comments. <laughs> Frozen 3, paint, drying time. You guys are so great. Mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it definitely gave us more time for the paint to dry. I think mine's dry. Yeah, Bryn asked if the paint, if the paint is dry now. Yes. Yes, it is. <clears throat> okay. So um, I'll just do another little, uh, sorry that that was interrupted. I'm here with Jessie Peterson, our art journaling artist, and she's going through teaching me how to do an art journal spread and giving you guys a little glimpse of what she's um, going to be teaching you guys. So we just did a wash using two different blues um, in some journals. And then what's next? What's next is a little... <clears throat> Uh, drawing with a Posca pen. Now I have a brand new one. I gave you one already open, ready to go. But okay, just cool. for demo purposes, <clears throat> what's a Posca pen? Oh, okay. it's an acrylic marker that paints on all kinds of surfaces. Oh, okay, cool. And so I you have to shake a, it. Yeah, shake it. The first time you use it, you shake it, uh -huh. and then you do. I just need. We'll see. Yeah, like yep. Yep. It. Oh, just press it. Can yeah. I test it on here? Yeah. Okay. So this one hasn't been used before. And when you prime it, you have to kind of wait for that paint to come out. So oh, so I you just shake show. it till the paint gets mm -hmm. down to the edge. You kind of press it until okay, okay. the paint runs to the nib. I think that's what that's called. That sounds right. Yeah. We're yeah. really uh, exact here with things. We know our things. <laughs> we know the words of things, and we say them confidently. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we do that. <laughs> okay. So what I think is kind of fun with something like this is to do some dots on the edge. It sort of blends the white of the paper and the blue. Kind of gives your eye a little softer um, transition from the white to the blue. So we can kind of do that. Now, this is one of those sort of repetitive things that I actually enjoy doing because I kind of is relaxing to just do some dots in the on the edges. Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. And you can try little dots and mix it up with larger dots if you want. Oh, um, somebody asked if clips will be included in the box. Mm, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, maybe in a future box we should do that. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get an array of different um, supplies and materials, and I think it would be a good idea to include them in one of the months. So that would be something fun to look out for. Yeah, because there's all kinds of fun clips, styles, and colors, and you could try different things until you land on one that you like. Kate says these paint pens look just like the chalk markers at Starbucks. <laughs> she says it's so satisfying to have a fresh marker. It is. Also a fresh pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> fresh socks are also great. Yeah. You know what? Yes. If I had the money to buy a new pair of socks every day, I would. Really? Really? Yes. Hmm. I Heidi agrees. Yeah. We're a big fan of fresh socks over yeah. here. I was going <laughs> to expound on not just socks, but maybe we'll keep it PG. <laughs> Will the pen reactivate the color? Um, this one is it's acrylic based, and I feel like it doesn't really do it. Now, if you're working in more of a wet media, sometimes it'll pull it up. Like, it'll, it'll okay. maybe get, like, in this, for instance, like, will be a little blue. But since it's dry, it, it doesn't usually pick it up. So for the most part, it should stay pretty opaque over the paint. Yes. Cool. It does show up a lot better on the darker washes that I have going on. Yeah, it's a good contrast, right? Um, so one of the things I love about art journaling is just this like sort of time, time to chill 
mm -hmm. and just play. Sometimes repetitive marks for me are really calming. And that's one of the reasons I like to art journal. Um, because I'm kind of high energy and art journaling is my place to just slow down. When did you start art journaling? Oh man, <clears throat> I think I've been art journaling since I can remember. When I was a kid, I found some folders that I cut up and taped them together and started collaging um, days of the week and then I would write things. Really? Yeah. I used really? all my mom's scotch tape trying to tape stuff like I was laminating. <laughs> You just put scotch tape yeah, over everything? Pieces of tape over and over. <laughs> that is so great. So yeah, if that counts as art journaling. It then. absolutely counts as art journaling. <laughs> yeah, and some of those art journals or old books or whatever, I'd look at and think, man, this art is terrible. I don't love this. And now, um, I don't know, we, I lost a lot in Hurricane Katrina and the ones that I have left are just so precious to me. Mm -hmm. They are little time capsule uh, season of my life that mm -hmm. like I'm so grateful that I have and mm -hmm. you know it's I don't know that's the cool thing about our journaling it's a record which is really really nice to have and look back on and see how much you've grown and maybe details that you would have missed otherwise. Yeah I actually um when my husband and I were dating in college, I actually, I've known him for a really long time, and one gift that I made for him was I redid all of the entries that I talked about him, but I did it in an art journal. What? So I would paint a spread and then put the day of like, so it's like, I mean, he was my first kiss when I was like 14, and I journaled about it. So I was able to look back at those memories and put it in like a, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, um, it was kind of a working progress, but you just talking about having a record and keeping it. I think for me, I, I, don't, I don't art journal that much or I haven't in a really long time, but it's really wonderful to look back and express yourself creatively with no expectation of having this perfect thing, but still also being able to um, expound on memories and um, have something that's really special to your heart that you can have. So it's just, um, that's probably one of the, I've never done anything like that for Michael again. I probably should. <laughs> We've been married 10 years now and it's just like, Christmas, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You socks, it. you want socks? <laughs> I'll get you some socks. Well, one of the journals that I started this year is a mothering journal and I've been writing little quotes. Oh, I love that children idea. children's books that I like, like Peter Pan and just little, little things like that I think about as a mom that I don't want to forget because you know they just get big so fast and all this is going to go by and sometimes having small children takes a lot of effort and energy and time but um, then they get big and you forget like all the fun little things that they did yeah. when they were little. So that's a fun way to our journal too. So I have a question. Oh, okay, question. Oh, I lost it. Uh -oh. From Tamara, she wants to know, do you know what you're going to journal when you sit down or does it just come to you? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, that is a good question. Sometimes I know and sometimes I'm just practicing. So um, I like to think of it as like practice pages sometimes, especially if I'm feeling like I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And so at that point, I'm just experimenting, testing things out, and then I kind of watch and develop and Sometimes I might need a minute to see what I need to do next, and sometimes I know right away, and you just kind of go with it. And other times, like in a specific type of journal, if I'm doing a mothering journal or you know something else, then I might have something more planned out or a layout in mind, and then I just go for it. I think what I love about it is it's very free. I know that when I was starting to work on this, like there were some spreads that I did where they're not finished, but they're started because I get in the mood sometimes where I just want to create, but I don't necessarily have a project in mind or something that it needs to be this finished piece. I just want to like put paint on paper mm -hmm. or just play with new supplies. And I think what's great with art journaling is you can start spreads and then just layer on them as you go. And they can almost transform as you're creating and turn into new things. So it's not like you have to sit down and have a plan all the time. Yeah. And sometimes your plan might change. So even for this um, today, I was thinking I wanted to do something more like this, um, this spread. And I thought I have the plan, I'm gonna do this just like this. 
And I thought, um, well, maybe we could talk about what I love about winter, because if you have the winter blues, sometimes thinking of those pot of positive mm -hmm. things might be it. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, who am I to tell them to be positive, <laughs> right? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Jesse, you're like, it's your life. I can't tell you to like winter. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to rant about winter, you can do that too. It's totally fine. <laughs> so then I thought, what about hello winter? That's but, good. You know? That's good. So you can do that. Um, you can see here, I did a little couple of swirls with the dots, so you can oh, that's make cute. them directional. And then here I tried some other marks. Um, I think like repetitive mark making is really fun and finding new marks that you like and exploring that is something you can do in your journal. Like when you're waiting for something like at a doctor's office or whatever, I carry my journal everywhere. So I'm always finding new marks that I made. So I like sort of these straight lines that are sort of hash, hashy. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, like hash marks mm -hmm. almost. Or you could try like bigger dots or lines like this or snowflakes. Mm -hmm. So just experiment, have fun. And sometimes I'll make a mark and be like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But like I, when I did this one, but uh -huh. then I thought, well, I'll try it over here and then I'll balance it out. And then, oh yeah, no, I like it. So just keep going, have fun. Cool, no I'm trying some stuff. So I'm gonna try some of these here. So there are a few questions about the box specifically. Okay. Are they going to get a new journal every month? or can they opt to not get one? Maybe you could talk more about what journal they're gonna get and like what the expectation for them would be. Yeah, the journal. so I have gone back and forth between lots of different journals, not finished some really awesome journals that I had because they're really big or maybe like my mood just changed halfway through. So I thought it would be fun to develop a journal that has less pages that maybe you could work through in a month and then kind of move on to the next month and do more things. So this, this journal has mixed media paper and it's a little bit smaller with less pages so that you can kind of move on to a new book as you That's go. That's such a great idea because I love getting journals and I always start them and then when I don't finish them I get mad at myself and then I have this expectation of like, you should be creating in your art journal, you know what I mean? So I love the idea of just having this compact thing that like I'm going to finish and I'm going, and it's easy to do because mm -hmm. of the smaller spreads. And then I'm going to feel so good that I have this like finished wonderful thing and then I'm ready for another one instead yeah. of like feeling like you have to like play catch up or something. Yeah, and it's satisfying to finish it. I love whenever I finish a journal and I turn it sideways and I see all those crinkly papers and I'm yes. like, it's done. And sometimes you just need to push yourself to finish something and move it on so you can start something new. But yes. finishing it really is satisfying. So It really is. I love that idea. Let's try a little snowflake maybe. Oh yeah, snowflakes. Just like a little star with them. I mean, it doesn't have to be crazy. You can do whatever you want. I do little triangles, kind of, <laughs> on my Oh, I like that. Oh, my snowflake. Sometimes I'll just do a, like a circle inside. We just did our snowflake tutorial for watercolor and some people can get really detailed, but I just, I'm more of a, let's just add stars and dots. Yeah, That's and if you, wanted to this, <laughs> if you wanted this to be a winter night, then it could be stars, like, oh, you know, yeah. shooting stars or whatever. I kind of like these little lines here, so I'm gonna try a little bit. Yeah, of that. I like that too. Oh, oh, I was just gonna say, Bryn says it's a visual diary for the month. Yeah, yes. I love that, Bryn. That's so great. Uh, Joe Ellen asks if it's watercolor paper, and um, sorry, that was in the other, the beginning of this, but it's a multimedia paper, mm -hmm. which just mixed media. Yeah, mixed media. Thank it's you. Okay. And the difference between that is watercolor paper has a really um, strong texture to it, where mixed media is a little bit more smooth, mm -hmm. and it can hold wet and dry um, mediums. Yeah. So it's a little, little more personal. Right? Yeah. Okay. The only only drawback of using mixed media paper is like your watercolor washes might not be as even, but the style that we're kind of going for is a little messy, and it's okay. It's totally fine. Okay. Someone wanted to know from your other pages, what are you writing? Oh, okay. So I'll flip back if you want to do the overhead camera. So this one, I was like, who am I to make someone be positive? But I was thinking sometimes winter is hard. Sometimes when I get home from work, I'm just like want to be under 10 blankets because I'm freezing and then I don't want to get up, right? So then I thought I need to write some things. So some of these things I wrote on here answered the question, what I love about winter. And one of them is that my lipstick doesn't melt in the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, another one is making gumbo. I'm, I grew up making gumbo and um, I love Louisiana food, so that's a nice one in the winter to do. 
Brock said he loves winter because he doesn't sweat as much. <laughs> he did say that. <laughs> Which is a win. Is it a is win. really hard being hot sometimes, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, anybody want to chime in on some of their favorite winter things to give us some ideas? We could journal about that. On oh. YouTube, Marcy actually says, Dear Winter, let's break up. Yeah, <laughs> me, not you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Carrie says, I love this. Can I buy this as a gift? Yes. Yes, absolutely you can. So um, if even on our website right now, you can go to the art journaling um, product page. And so you can sign up to subscribe. And there's also an option to do a gift, a three month gift option. So we have that ready for you. Um, and the single box oh, too. If you're not ready to maybe commit to such a monthly subscription, you can just purchase the box by itself. So um, that is up and ready for you guys. Kim wants to know if that pen is fine tip. This one is a PC 3M bullet shape. So thanks for asking. And if you just do it like lightly, you'll get a small dot. And if you do it heavy, then you'll get sort of a thicker dot. So it's pretty versatile for what it is, but there are some extra fine ones that mm. um, are available as well. What's but, your favorite type of cookie? Ooh, that, That's a follow-up question. That cho <laughs> chocolate one that Sarah made, I think is, is sliding into my number one favorite kind of cookie. Okay, you guys, That's I so have good. the best recipe for chocolate cookies. I didn't make it up, but it's like from Martha Stewart or something. Maybe we should share it. Mm -hmm. It's just a chocolate cookie. Not chocolate chips. It's not chocolate chip, it's just chocolate and you roll it in sugar, and then you bake it, and it's like... The sugar it's, is all sparkly It's like it. rich and chewy, and it's like my favorite cookie, too. So good. So, good. so yeah. You just made me so happy saying that, because I really do love those cookies. <laughs> I, I used to say, like, just the standard chocolate chip, and now that chocolate one's in my head, and I can't get it out, so... Um, okay, so you... <laughs> oh, I like that, nice. Um, Sometimes it's a little intimidating um, doing the art journaling and doing lettering here because I'm still practicing my lettering, but I've, I've learned a lot from Nicole and just like, you know, going for it and practicing. So this is a great place to do that as well. If you like lettering. Um, you could also try a jelly, jelly roll that um, you can get some different dots with that if you want. This oh, yeah. This is really, really tiny. Oh, good. That's for like really detailed stuff for yeah, the so lines this is and stuff. An 05, and I think the one I put over there for you is a, oh, a little I have thicker one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm right. like, when are you going to be done with that? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to finish my lettering. Okay, yeah. some people are asking about what's going to be in the box. So as soon as we're done with this spread, should we do it now? Whatever you think. Okay, Jesse, we'll go over what you can expect in your box and how we're kind of kind of approach this. So yeah. So if you want to do. Um, your lettering, you can do Hello Winter, you can do What I Love About Winter. The cool thing about this is that it's all about what you want it to be. So, um, yeah, if you want it to be positive, you can do that. If you come up with another sort of wintery phrase that you want, you can do that. Um, you know? Does I want to do, sense? was it Marcy that was like, Dear Winter, let's break up? <laughs> that would be so great to yes. write in there. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys make that, please share. I want to see it. Marcy also got really excited when you said jelly roll because she thought you meant the food. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Now we're thinking of baked treats now. <clears throat> okay, so for me, art journaling is trying out techniques, and sometimes it's journaling, sometimes it's just painting, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about what comes in the box to help you break that down. So should I do it in the, this camera or here or I don't know? I will switch to wherever you go. Okay. So you get two different kinds of cards in your box. Okay. Um, one is a prompt card and on the back of it we'll have um, sort of, well, prompts, questions. Do you want to put that over your book? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm still, I'm learning with you guys. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, so there'll be prompts and if, if one, you know, catches your eye and you, you, it resonates with you, then you can pick one of those. And then <clears throat> it also comes with technique cards. So these are just some fun techniques that you can try out. And the idea is that you can um, pair up a technique card with a prompt card. Prompt card. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, it's fine. I'm just getting nervous <laughs> right in the middle of this. So, <clears throat> so you could do you know, this one, and then you could do journaling from what the prompt yeah. is on that sort of thing. And the idea is that you can mix and match them however you want. I will pair up um, some of these and make projects that you can 
um, tune in and do along with us. Sorry. Okay, and I love that idea because sometimes you get stuck because you want to try a new technique but you don't know how to go about it and sometimes you need a little bit of a prompt to get you thinking about um, different things and to be a little bit more reflective because sometimes it doesn't come naturally to everybody. Yeah. So I love the idea that it's like we have this for you and we have this for you. You can use those. Maybe you can mix and match them and I feel like it's a good starter for them to start exploring for their own things too. Yeah and then as the subscription box progresses there'll be more cards and you can mix future ones with later ones. I mean you don't, you're not limited just to the ones that come in. Oh the box. so they're going to be interchangeable month to month yeah. too so you can work. That's such a great idea. I love it. Art recipe cards, that's what we're calling them. Marcy asks, do you have advice on how to convince your husband that another art box is necessary? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I. Well, you know what? <laughs> I, this is what I tell my husband, and he, he, he could get behind this. I think I'm just a better person when I'm making art. I am happier. I am, like, focused on the little things and grateful. I mean, it's just... I'm a better version of me when I am doing art journaling and making art. That's such a good point. About, I'm know. a better version of me when I, I, I do know that when I take the time, especially with the craziness of being a mom and working and holidays and all of these different stresses, when I take a moment to just not have any expectation of having to be perfect and to just do something for me that is calming, I'm much more pleasant for sure. <laughs> So maybe just say, I will be, I'm just nicer when I'm making stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marcy, that's so great. Maybe I love it. says, happy wife, happy life. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Art subscription boxes are cheaper than therapy. That's what Judy says. I like it. <laughs> Touche, Judy. That is a great <laughs> point. <laughs> 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 um, and then... Uh, somebody asked about maybe the supplies that they would um, expect to see in their box. Oh, so <clears throat> you'll always get the recipe cards. Mm -hmm. And then I've also designed some, well, I can just take some of them out of this little box I have here. Um, I've designed some collage paper as Ooh, well. Okay. So we'll, we'll, you always have a little collage paper to play around with. And then you'll get um, different types of paint or markers or pens, just different things every month to try out. And it'll all be curated with a theme. So you'll get this little, I don't know what I did with it, uh, a theme card that has fresh ingredients, kind mm -hmm. of what we're, what we're thinking about that month. And yeah, it all goes together. So it's just going to change every month, different supplies with different, I think what I'm excited about most is that it's not just one medium. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to explore different things, um, you can expect to see different kinds of mediums to go mm -hmm. in the box, which is perfect for art journaling. And actually, can you bring out the yes paste? Because somebody uh, liked the this colorful page, which yes paste is like a glue. So with the collage paper, you can expect to see like the yes paste in there. Yes. Push this farther up. <clears throat> And I just ripped up one of my painting paper towels and then used Yes Paste to collage it down just for texture and color. So um, actually, Yes Paste for me was a new discovery that I didn't know existed before Jessery. So you can totally expect to see this in your box. Mm -hmm. And um, even the collage paper, can you pull that out again? I would love to see that again. Um, because the nice thing about collage paper is the scariest thing sometimes is just starting. <laughs> and so just being able to like, cut a piece out, put it on, collage it, and then that there's already not a blank page staring mm -hmm. at you is so great. And then Jessie designs these. So she designs, she does different words and texture so you guys can pick and choose whatever speaks to you mm -hmm. and you can expect to see those fun designs in every box. Yeah, and it will all kind of go with the colors that are in the box. So it's curated for you to have it all match up. And sometimes I think limiting my supplies actually helps me be more creative. Mm. And so just taking those with you on the go, throwing them in a bag or something, um, and then you only have those to work with, like helps you get going. Sometimes yeah. I will just sit in front of all my art supplies and be like, I don't know, what am I gonna do? Like, yeah. And I get stuck. Cause you get overwhelmed with options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I definitely am that way. Well, the hard thing that I do is when I get excited about something, I buy everything and then I have all of these supplies staring at me and then I'm like, which ones do I use? Mm. <laughs> so this is a great way to maybe not approach it like how I approached it where I'm like, I need every color marker 
available at all times. Give me the biggest one. Give me all of them. All of the sizes in all of the colors. Seriously, when I ordered washi tape, I seriously have like 40 different rolls of washi tape because I just have a problem. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm working on it. Jesse's teaching me things. Well, I like that you did this because this is truly experimenting, and that's what I hope it is. And as you get more supplies, you'll be able to experiment more, and you'll you'll kind of land on some things that you really like, and you like making marks with a certain marker. And I'll I'll be so happy that you found something that's really you. Um, and then there'll be other things that you're like, yeah, that's cool, but not me. And yeah. now you know. Now you know that's like not your go-to. Yeah. And that's good. And that's okay. Um, Julia says, this is such a brilliant subscription box for so many of us who are interested in doing this, but overwhelmed with where to start and what to buy. Well done, guys. Yay. We're so excited. You. you guys are excited for this. We are too. <coughs> okay. So this was our Hello Winter. I'll just flip back to this one. <laughs> Maybe we should talk a little bit about um, how, like, Heidi, maybe should we talk about, like, what they can expect with the subscription, like, just, oh, like, the logistics. How much logistics a little bit? Go for it, girl. Oh, um, <laughs> I do better when I answer a question. <laughs> okay, so when, how much is the box? Much okay. is the box? Oh, so it's. $35 mm -hmm. if you're doing a subscription, and then if it's just one box, it's $45, Yes, right? correct. Either way, free shipping. Yes. Free shipping either way, um, and they'll ship at the same time as the watercolor or the lettering if you're familiar with our schedule, which is the 18th to the 25th of every month is when they will ship. Now, for um, if they were to pre-order it today, when are we actually releasing it, though? So that way their timeline is clear on when they can oh, expect to receive it. It will ship in January and then we'll start doing um, the tutorials um, the following month. So, and all the tutorials for our journaling will be on Thursday. So oh, you can tune in on yes. Thursdays. Thursdays when we release the tutorials. So if you purchase the subscription box now, you'll receive a shipping notification end of January, start in February. But January we're releasing her beginner series. So if you want to, she's going to go over, what are some things you're going to talk about in your beginner series? I'm going to talk about the right tools, like W-R-I-T-E, right? Oh, yeah. like we, love, right. we love puns here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just some of the things I like to use for journaling and mark making. And then I'll go, I'll, I'll go into um, more detail about, you know, the difference between watercolor and mixed media paper. Um, some, some kind of fun go-to things that I like to do. So yeah, if you want to get started before the box is out, then you can check that out. Great. Um, somebody said, um, uh, they asked about billing. What day will we be billed? So when you sign up, what, whatever day you sign up, you'll be charged that day for the first month. And if it's a subsequent subscription, then it'll be the 18th, which is the same day as our lettering and our watercolor. We're just trying to keep it simple for you guys. So that way we're all on the same schedule of when to expect things. Oh, oh. yeah, and so we know that this won't ship for a little bit, but we did the pre-order a little bit early because Christmas is coming and gifts, and so we wanted to give you guys the opportunity to um, purchase this for someone who you think would really enjoy this, and we have a printable gift certificate. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to give this as a gift, even though it won't arrive till February, we have a gift certificate that you can gift and they can open on Christmas that they can just download from the website. Or you can give someone a hint that this is the gift that you want. You can also yes. do that. <laughs> so if you're having a little trouble <laughs> deciding like if you're gonna get this in addition to something else, then maybe it's a yeah. gift. Maybe just copy and paste that link to this <laughs> product page to your spouse or something yes. be like, hint, hint. <laughs> this is what I'm looking at. <laughs> so Rita asks to get the January box we need to subscribe right now. So they're actually the the it's going to start in February. Okay? So January we're just releasing the beginner series. You will start receiving the boxes in February. Just so we are clear and on the same page. Yes, Tamara. Yes, that is correct. Um, we're getting some questions about um, different types of pens and inks and so um, that they can use. Oh. Uh, wash, watercolor. They're wondering what kind of mediums they need to reiterate. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to try some different things. We'll do a little watercolor. We'll do a little of these acrylic pens. We'll do acrylic paint. Um, yeah, I've, I've got all kinds of fun things planned for you to try out, and there are a lot of different things. Yeah. So basically, you can expect 
anything. Yeah, mixed. And media. to try different things. And then if you already have supplies, you can absolutely still create along with Jessie, which is why art journaling is so fantastic, is you don't have to have exactly what she's doing in order to create. So maybe um, you're gonna get some curated supplies that Jesse picks out, but again, as what we do with our other tutorials, you have access to those tutorials. Please create along with us, use whatever you have, and really, it's just about taking a moment to make something for you, mm -hmm. is what we want you guys to focus on. Do we answer those questions <coughs> okay, Heidi? Yeah, Let's um, see. we have a couple more questions. People keep asking if we, if we can combine their order or their subscription boxes. Okay, oh. so for combining, because we, since lettering, we have art journal, we have watercolor, we have a few different, they will sh ship at the same time. We're working on trying to make it so it is a combined um, thing. So once, uh, we just have to work through some logistics. So just know that we're, we're working on it and we'll keep you guys updated as that becomes an option. Um, as of right now, um, they'll just be separate and they'll just ship at the same time, but we are working towards combining those guys for you. So we're on it and we will let you know. We'll keep you updated. Good question. Okay. So can you talk about there will be tutorials in the Facebook group. Oh, yeah. Um, one of the things I love about getting to be a part of Let's Make Art is the community aspect of it. And um, we do have um, a Facebook group for art journaling. And I hope that's a place where you can, um, you can go and share what you hope to learn, share what you've made. And um, I can be a resource there to really like answer questions. What's the Facebook like group called? It's, uh, it's called Let's make art journals because I remember thinking it was going to be let's make art art journals and I was like that says art twice so then I had to think about it sorry so let's it's make okay. art journals okay great there we go. let's make art journals <laughs> and when and then so and people can expect tutorials yes yes and those will be released on Thursdays Thursday. So she went through the recipe cards, the technique, mm -hmm. and the prompts. So the projects will be based off of her grabbing those two cards and um, working mm -hmm. through it. And that's what you can expect to receive for tutorials. Yes. Now, one thing I do want to point out how this is different from the watercolor box is that um, there will not be kits associated with each and every project that we're doing for this box. So it's um, kind of hard to break up a pin or some of these supplies. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit. It doesn't work. The, quite the same way. So just so you know, there will be tutorials released, but the the difference is you won't be able to buy a single kit like how we how you can do with watercolor um, just to prepare you guys for that. Okay, is there anything else? There's lots of questions. Oh, so, so many questions. Keep answering questions. Um, some of them are kind of specific to what they're seeing now on the product page. Okay. So they're wondering, will they have an outline for the Frida project? Will this be a follow along type of format or are they just creating their own things? They want to know a little bit more about the okay. format. Okay. <clears throat> so yes, there will be an outline for the Frida project. I'm so glad that you asked that. Um, <clears throat> and what I'm hoping that you'll gain from that is if you do that project with me and you really like Frida and you want to do that, that's awesome. But you'll also get the, the technique to do a different um, image. So the prompt for that project is find a guide. So someone that you look up to, things that you want to, traits that someone has that you want to cultivate in your life. So um, Frida uh, really speaks to me in that way. But it can be someone in your family, somebody else. And then you can take that photo and do the, a similar technique of what we're doing. What I really want to do is empower you to tell your story in your way. So these projects, yes, you can do just like I'm doing, or you can take it a step further and, and make it for something that, that you're excited about that is just for you. Okay. Is there, it, it shows four, three projects mm -hmm. on, is there a fourth project is the question. Oh, yeah, we'll do Let's Make Art Matter for the fourth project. And Let's Make Art Matter, if you're not familiar, is they choose, um, Jesse will choose hers, Nicole chooses hers, I choose mine. We choose a different person to receive a postcard that is made by you wonderful people in our community. And it's just our way of showing that art is powerful. And so it is recognizing um, humans and recognizing how hard things are. So we usually choose someone who just needs a little extra cheering up. We um, create something on that postcard and then they come pre-addressed and pre-stamped. So all you have to do is drop it in the mail. So Jessie's fourth project every month will be her Let's Make Art Matter.
Yeah, and those techniques can be something that you can try in your journal or, or mix and match things that we've done before, but I really wanted to put the focus on that. Perfect. Someone asked, why is Sarah's lettering lighter than Jesse's? Is it a different pen? No. Um, sometimes mm. you just want to go over it a couple times with this Posca, and I had already well, kind of done actually, that a little bit. Well, actually, Jesse, I think what also the huge difference is is the value behind the lettering. Oh, yes. yes. That's why her pops out more. So we have the same pen, but her background is darker. That's why her white is really sticking out, and mine's a little bit harder to see because I went really light with my wash. Mm -hmm. So that is a great question, and that just shows you how sometimes other things inform things that you might not be thinking of. Mm -hmm. It's the same pen, just not the same background. Yeah, and now she's putting a little darker blue there, and it's going to make it pop. So yes. that's something you can do when you have a lighter background. Um, Annie asked if we can nominate someone to receive these postcards. Absolutely you can on our website. If you go to the, um, scroll, down to the scroll down to the footer, there'll be a button that says nominate, let's make art matter, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just on that home page, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that there. And then just to reiterate, this is a new subscription box that is going to be going on for the foreseeable future. Someone asked if it was a limited run or if this is oh, a new box. That's a great question. Um, they asked if it's limited and this is something that we're starting in February and we'll just go. So we're really excited to see what Jesse has planned for us. I have been able to get a sneak peek at what's going on and it's gonna be super fun. Um, the curated supplies are great. The prompt cards, the technique cards. This is really a great way to just jump in and start creating. And one thing that I that I do want to talk about too, which is what's so wonderful about art journaling, is sometimes we have this expectation with creativity that you need to be able to sell it, or it needs to be giftable, or it needs to have a purpose besides just the joy of creating. And with art journaling, this is personal. This goes in a journal. This is for you. And I really think that it's it's dangerous to look at creativity as just a way to make money because it's really diminishing the value, which is the mental health aspects of it, the therapeutic aspects of it, and the joy that it brings, just like simple joy. So I'm really excited about art journaling because it's not about perfection. It's not about having this completed piece that you're gonna give somebody. It's just for you to take that time out and be able to connect with um, exploring and having fun and trying new things because we lose a lot of that as we come at, become adults. So I love that this points back to it and really focuses on that. Yeah, and it helps with a regular practice, right? Like sometimes I like to art journal at night because doing something with my hands helps me like be able to sleep easier after I, instead mm. of like scrolling on a screen. Some people like to get yeah. up early in the morning and do our little art journaling before they start their day. So you might you might find that a regular practice will really in, um, will help you in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Um, and that doesn't mean that experimenting here and finding something you really like doesn't mean that it couldn't you can take that and go and make another piece of art with it. Like oh. it can inform your art because it's a safe place to just explore. Yeah, that's such a good point because maybe you want to try something but you're scared to like do it on this finished mm -hmm. piece. So if you just play around in your art journal, then you're like, great, I love this technique. I love this thing I learned. I'm going to take it to something yes. bigger. Yeah, so it could be a little both. Yeah, great. They're asking if you could just hold, maybe we could hold up your journals to show what you guys did. But Keenan. Can, can we go to the overhead camp, please? Yeah. Oh, we're this, sorry. Do they want us to flip through it or oh, just yeah, see the finished? Oh yeah, show this one. It just says to show what it looks like. So okay. So that's the one that I did, What I Love About Winter. That was my last one, and this is the one I was working on while we were talking. I'm a little slower when I'm talking and painting at the same time. <laughs> so I don't know if my tutorials are going to be long or not. I mean, I don't know. But it's going to be great. This one has a little darker wash. And my favorite thing is flipping through people's sketchbooks and art journal. Oh yeah, art we journal, sketch, so let, flip through them all. I'm just going to flip through things. Slow, fast, how should we do this? Excellent question. <laughs> Keenan, oh, are you, is it, so is in focus, is all, all good? Yeah, you look, it looks great. You, guys, you, look you can also say that we look great. You guys look great. Thank you. you great. <laughs> so you started to say it, then you corrected yourself. I, you guys, I'm like, you, you can finish that thought. <laughs> <laughs> they want to know what journal you're working in as well. Let's try the journal oh. again. Okay, so both of us are using our Moleskine watercolor journal, but again, um, we, Jesse has made a specific 
um, multimedia? Mixed media. Mixed? Multimedia is kind of like, you know, when you're doing mixed electronics media. and stuff. Mixed media. Is, you're right. It's, all, it's totally fine. They're Sorry, both the Jesse. same. It's fine. So we have a mixed media journal that will be um, in your box that you will receive every single month. Um, this is just what we were using for today. But again, I wanted to, I wanted, if someone wanted to jump right in, I thought maybe they would have a watercolor journal already. And uh -huh. I didn't want them to have to wait for the mixed media journal to get started. So that's why I, I chose this. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That's great. Okay. We good? Do we get all the questions? I think we got most of the questions. Um, so again, it's official. It is here. You guys can subscribe. You can see what Jesse has planned for you. Jesse's tutorials will start in February. Beginner series will start in January, so you can expect to see those being released on Thursday. And she'll walk you through a little bit more. The questions that you guys are asking about materials, papers, what is it? She will clear all of that up for you. Um, I'm so excited to be able for you guys to work with Jesse. Jesse is very talented and very creative and very much um, this calming, like it doesn't need to be perfect. It's all about practicing and playing and having fun, which is exactly what we're all about here at Let's Make Art. So I'm so thrilled that she can join our team and be one of our teachers. Um, I'm blown away with how many people are on here and, and supporting us and I just want to say thanks. Even my, I just saw my dad on here. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Jesse's dad. Aww. We're really excited to have her. Um, so if you want to pre-order your box now, you can. Um, we do at this moment have limited supplies. Just keep that in mind. Um, but we're working on that. And um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, hopefully, they'll be answered on the product page where you can go see the materials, see when things are shipping, all that yes. fun stuff. We have a frequently asked questions section on there too, which might be helpful for specific questions. Anything else that's not addressed, you can just email our customer service team. They're truly wonderful. They're back here, that's why I looked at them. <laughs> There's a whole team of people who made this launch come to life and that's awesome. It is awesome and we're really excited. Thank you guys for um, being here, supporting us, and being willing to put yourself out there to create. We know it's really scary, but I think that if we can all do it together, it's not as bad and we just become better. Yep. That's it. Thanks. Thanks, Jesse. Bye.